Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a, a review on this 5-cup mini coffee maker from GE. It's programmable. It's got a nice blue display for the clock. But like other coffee makers, if you lose power, the um, you lose the clock right away and your program. So overall, this thing's got a really small footprint. It's, it's kind of made rather well. I, I'm actually kind of liking it. It's got a nice cute little coffee pot here. It does have a warmer, so this will get hot and keep your coffee warm. It does have an auto shutoff feature, so when you brew your pot of coffee, if you walk away after an hour, it does shut it off. So this has got that cone shape. It's got a permanent cone shape filter, but you can also use number two cone filters in place of this permanent, but I like that it comes with a permanent coffee. So the other nice feature they're really talking about here is this water filter. It's got this nice little thing you pull up on. So see, that's a charcoal water filter that you can replace. And see down in there, that's the intake for the coffee maker. So you're going to put your water back here. And this is replaceable. And then, so the water will have to go through that charcoal filter in order to be brewed. So one thing you're going to want to make sure of is you got the lid down. This is where the hot water comes out when you brew your pot of coffee. So you're always going to want to close it. And then it does have a, it has a pretty short cord and it does have cord storage. But this just has a really small footprint and it feels like it's very well made. Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to show you how to set the program for this GE 5 cup coffee maker. So it's got this nice blue display and it, when power goes out it doesn't hold the time very long. So it's got this hour and minute. So if you want to set the time you're just going to come and set, so it's 2 p.m. So what's really nice about this is it has an a.m. and a p.m. So that's really nice. So we're going to scroll through. So it's 2 p.m. right now. And now if I wanted to do the minutes, it's 2.10. So it's 2.10 p.m. Now, if I want to set the program, I can program this thing to come on at 5 a.m. in the morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this program button one time. See how it's flashing? When it's flashing, I can change the time. And that's the program time. So go to 5. I'm not changing the time. I'm changing the program time. So now after this stops flashing, it'll go steady and it'll go back to normal time. So there's normal time. It's 2 p.m. And the program light is on. So, so this will start. So make sure you've got your water in and your coffee ready to go. But what I found is, if so, I can press the, the program button again. It tells me, okay, if, if I want to check it, okay, yeah, it's going to start at 5 a.m. And then it goes back to time. But if I want to turn this program off, there's no way to turn it off unless I go over here and just hit the power button. So that starts a pot of coffee, but just hit it again, that turns it off real quick. And that what that does is that cancels the uh, program start. And then this button here, this is just if you want to brew a pot of coffee right now, you're going to hit it. It's going to flash, and then you're going to start brewing a pot of coffee right now. This has an auto off feature after one hour, which is really nice. Okay, so we're going to brew a pot of coffee. Um, it says one tablespoon per cup of coffee. So since this is a five cup coffee maker, I used five of these. And that equates to, so if you get a measuring cup, uh, it's a less than a half a cup. And you may want to even go less than that. But there you've got to either put this filter in, or these cone shape filters, number two. So that's what it would look like if you did that, but we're, we use the permanent one that comes with it. We're just gonna pour our coffee in. Okay, so most people use the coffee pot to uh, pour their water in. I've got it up to the five mark. And then we're gonna see how it pours. If you don't go super fast, it, uh, it just makes a mess. I don't know why it always makes a mess when you pour them in the back, it seems like. When you're pouring a pot of coffee, it doesn't make a mess. So we're going to make sure we put our uh, pot down there. We're going to close the lid. Now we've got to come down here and hit the power button one time. I don't know if you can see, but it's, a, it's kind of dim, but it's flashing. And that lets you know it's brewing a pot of coffee. We're going to time this. And it started, it started the percolator process. So we're gonna time it and see how long it takes. Okay, so we're right about the two minute mark. 
and it's got one cup of coffee so if you want to grab a cup of coffee it's got this feature it's called auto pause and it's got this little plunger so as I take it out it should stop the brewing process which it does for the most part you still get a few drips and it's gonna burn on the burner but you can pour yourself a quick pot of coffee and then put it back in and then it continues brewing okay so I don't recommend lifting this up but we're just gonna get a sneak peek oh, yeah Looks like it's doing a pretty good job of uh, saturating the uh, coffee grounds. And we're right at the four minute mark. So it's at the three cup mark. So right at the six minute mark, it's doing its uh, thing at the end. We're pretty much to the top. You want to be careful. There is some steam here that's kind of hot. This did get kind of hot. So we're going to see how many cups of coffee this you can actually get out of this. So again, it's pretty full already. It pours pretty good when you take your time pouring it into a coffee um, cup. This is a pretty big coffee cup here. So these things claim to be five cups, and I know there's, these are pretty big coffee cups, and especially this one's actually really big. But it looks like you get two medium si or pretty good sized coffee cups out of it. We're going to go over cleanup now. So I always do a temperature check. About 150. About 150. And there's what the coffee grounds look like. That's the, these cone-shaped uh, filters, I think, do a little better job with the coffee grounds and brewing the cup of coffee. It tastes really good. I use a lot of cream and sugar, but it tastes really like a really good cup of coffee. Like I said, this will go off after an hour, or you can reach down here and just hit the power button, and that turns the brewing. That, that'll turn the burner off, and if there's any brewing left, it'll turn it off too. But again, these are nice. These are replaceable. You can buy these charcoal filters. So what's nice about, the, well, these baskets here, it's got this little carrying handle. Um, but it is going to drip on you if you use just the basket. If you use the basket holder, you can take the whole basket over there and it's got that pause uh, plunger that's going to keep it from dripping. We're going to dump this into the, to the uh, trash can. Okay, so I want to demonstrate you can hold the permanent filter and dump out the coffee grounds. Um, it's a little tricky. But you do have some coffee grounds left in there that you will have to rinse out. So using the paper filters might be a little uh, better way to go, a little easier to clean up. So you can see I've got this uh, filter basket now that I've got to clean. And if I just was using a paper filter, I would just dump that out into the trash can and then I'd be, I could rinse this out. So this is everything that can be cleaned. This is all dishwasher safe. You can put it in the top shelf of the dishwasher. I like that this opening, you can get your hand in there and scrub it. And this just snap the lid just snaps on there and there's your filter basket so the filter basket does take quite a bit of water to get those coffee grounds out so you might save a little bit of water if you use the um, paper filter one thing i forgot to mention is it doesn't have a sight glass on the side but it's got these steps in here that you can tell how much water you've added which is okay they work good but it, does, it doesn't have a sight glass on the side okay so i'm gonna brew a pot of coffee there's that filter basket that it comes with but we're going to use these number two cone filters. So I'm going to put it in there. Like I said, I've got this measured out. It's not quite half a cup, so it's a little less than a half a cup. I'm just going to dump it in the middle. Okay, so I've got my coffee in there, and I've got it filled up to that five step. I'm going to put the lid down, and we're going to brew a pot of coffee this way. Okay, so these cone filters, they do a good job. You can see that's with the uh, number two cone filter in there with the coffee grounds. So one thing I did notice is towards the end of the brewing cycle when there's a bunch of steam coming out of here, this lifts up a little bit. And then it sits back down. You gotta press it back down after the brewing process is over. But here's what that cone filter looks like. So the coffee grounds stay in it. And it's just a lot nicer to clean up. You just pick this up by this little thing here. And then you're just simply gonna dump that out. And as you carry it over there, it's gonna prevent it from dripping. So one more thing I wanted to show you is that filter basket. These are replaceable. That's that charcoal filter basket I showed you earlier, those in the uh, intake side of the uh, water. But this just snaps together, so you don't, you keep the plastic thing, 
just unsnap it and then you get you get new ones of these I'm not sure how often you replace them depending on how many cups of coffee you make but then you can just replace that so again this is just a dad I want to thank you for watching this was a pretty detailed review on this little GE coffee maker because I like it so much I think it brews a pretty a pretty nice pot of coffee and if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching